Hi guys, in today's video we are going to discuss about current yield and yield to maturity and in the next video I will discuss about the theorems okay so coming to this uh, video uh, before getting into this video if you haven't watched about the current market price or the introduction about bonds uh, please watch that video and then come to this video or else you will get a bit confused okay so uh, let's start our topic that is current yield okay in the previous video we have discussed about what is face value uh, what is coupon rate what is a uh, market price everything right so and also we have discussed what are bonds mostly right so in this video i am coming with the concept current yield what is meant by current yield here when a person is uh, like suppose a person is investing in some firm okay so when he is investing in some firm he will expect something in return for sure like he is investing so for sure he will expect something in return right so what this current yield does is it will be uh, like the um, expected thing from the bond holders side so when he's investing in the bond what he's expecting to earn is the like we can say that it's like the expecting return okay but here there is a small trick that is it is a return an investor would expect to earn okay it, it's it's just an expecting return from the investor side but it is not at all the actual return he's just assuming if i uh, as i'm investing i will get this much of return that is what he's doing from his end okay enough but here is a small trick as uh, if you discuss uh, like if i discuss with the formula you will understand it more clearly i guess so the formula for current yield is current yield equals to interest by current market price so here interest it is like i'll tell you current market price okay so here he is assuming he is doing things like he's assuming his return with the current market price it's not with the it's not at all he's considering the face value he's completely current considering the current market price the current market price and here it is the interest pay so based on the interest payment and the current market price he is expecting his return on investment so this is the concept of current yield let's say uh, he is getting an interest pay of uh, interest pay of 80 rupees and the current market price be 800 okay so he can just calculate like uh, by calculating he can get uh, his expected return in percentages so 80 by 800 so he will get 0 0.1 which is when it converted into percentages it is 10 percent right so he was thinking that if i invest uh, with this current like this is my current market price and this is my uh, in interest pay so i might get 10 percent return uh, with this bond so that is what he's assuming he's expecting got it i hope now you are clear with the concept of current yield yield is the meaning of yield is income or uh, the input we are getting like the output like it's like the income that we are expecting so we are expecting our current income through our current market price and the interest payment fine enough let's move on to the next concept that is yield to maturity yield to maturity so in the word itself you can see that 
it's like yield yield is what i have told you about yield it's the income that we expect right it's the income that we need to get when we invest so that is that can be considered as the yield what is maturity the time of the bond so if if the, i say the maturity is 5 years the uh, bond duration so after 5 years i will get my clear returns okay so that can be said as in yield okay so what we uh, expect okay so here current yield is what we expect but here yield to maturity is exactly what we get okay it's the specific time period i can say maturity i hope now we are clear with this yield to maturity but let me explain in clear terms okay so yield to maturity is the total expected return from a bond so it is the total expected return it is the total expected return from a bond when it is held like when it is held until its maturity okay when it is held until its maturity that means like if if i told you uh, the concept right uh, like if i if the maturity is 5 uh, years so if i'm holding the bond till 5 years so that is what i'm expecting like what what i'm exactly expecting when i'm holding the bond for that maturity period is yield to maturity okay so here coming to this concept it includes all of your interest and all of your interest payments like the coupon payments that we have discussed and also the either it can be sometimes at premium or discount we discuss it right so premium or discount adjustments so it includes the complete things that like it's like the complete flavor that we get if we are waiting till the maturity of the bond okay so now here it is all it is like from 0 to time till maturity what all we are getting it is yield to maturity now let's discuss about the formula so the formula is by tm of bond equals to interest pay plus i can write capital i but i'm not writing it because you shouldn't get uh, confused between interest and interest pay like the coupon rate and uh, the interest pay okay so that's the reason and this is the formula that we need to follow f minus p by n divided by 0.4 f plus 0.6 p i hope you would be wondering what is this f p and n so f is the face value i hope you already have an idea about face value and p is the market price okay p is the market price and then we have n which is the number of years to maturity okay so this is what we have so let's take a quick example so that you will get more in detail so let's say i have my face value of the bond at 500 rupees and market price is 4 uh, 35 okay let's take it as 435 and then we have coupon rate as 12% and the number of years the time to maturity is 7 years okay so if this is the case first of all i need my interest pay right this one so how can i calculate my interest pay that is fv face value into coupon rate by 100 so what is fv 500 into 12 by 100 which is 0.12 so what will be my coupon rate any guesses please pause the video and please do it is 60 okay so interest pay is 60 rupees fine now let me substitute this formula here uh, like let me substitute this values here and let me do the calculation part so my interest pay is 60 and my face value is 500 minus my market price is 435 and the number of years is 7 um uh, next we have 0.4 face value is 
प्लस जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स मार्केट प्राइस इज फोर थर्टी फाइव राइट सो दिस इज वॉट आई नीड टू डू एंड आई नीड टू कैलकुलेट सो आई विल गेट सिक्सटी प्लस नाइन पॉइंट टू एट फाइव सेवन सॉरी गाइज आई हैव डन द कैलकुलेशन प्रीवियसली बट प्लीज डू इट वन यू डू इट बिकॉज कैलकुलेशन मैटोज and it helps you to do fast calculations in exam also so do pause the video do the uh, sum and then finally forward it to see the final answer okay so here i have got like once i have solved everything i got the answer as 0.15 so it will be expressed in percentages so that's the reason it will be said as 15% so what is my yield to maturity it is 15% so if i hold if i hold my bond till the time of the maturity so i can expect this 15% return on my investment so this is the concept for uh, current yield and yield to maturity in the next video we will discuss about the theorems which are very very important and which are a bit tricky also and very easy also because those also play an important role in questions uh for in exam for sure okay so we'll meet you in the next video until then bye bye take care all the best for exams and if possible if you find this video helpful please like share and subscribe bye bye